Am I better than everyone? Pass. 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 Smash. Actually, no, I don't want to go anymore. Oh. Okay. Just kidding. See you in 10 minutes. Okay. Just kidding. We're not going. You ever just look at a book and think, yes. There's a hold full of psychic cats. Smugglers in space. It's giving me strong, lovable, found family vibes. It promises to be funny. It mentions coffee on the cover. Hey, buddy. Squidward. Free cleaning service? Census taker. Good day, kind sir. Would you like to buy some Gil Scout cookies? Well, I'm not supposed to worry about stuff like that. I'm the talent. I have to remind myself not to put things on top of the car. So this book, I think, got run over a few times. Back cover completely off. There are <laughs> tire tracks. <laughs> I like you and I loved him. We could all be the best kind of friends. You said you're into closure. Shake hands like you're supposed to. What is your favorite drink? Water with a lemon slice. What's your favorite food? Water with a lime slice. What's your guilty pleasure? Water with a cucumber slice. Favorite dessert? Carrots. Pass. 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 Smash. Oh my gosh, yes, I've heard of that one. I have it. No, I haven't read it. I know, isn't that cover gorgeous? I have it. No, I haven't read it. I've been waiting for that sequel for months. I bought it immediately. No, I haven't read it yet. Action man. Who the hell is that? Oh my god, no, it's John Wick. What is your favorite drink? Water with a lemon slice. What's your favorite food? Water with a lime slice. What's your guilty pleasure? Water with a cucumber slice. Favorite dessert? Carrots. Why would I listen to you? You know what? It's okay if you don't like this book because it was written specifically for me and I love it. Uh, uh I don't know. I didn't count it. I am not really a math guy. Pass. 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 Smash. I'm just sick of everybody. I just want to be happy and buy my damn self. How, in the name of all that's holy, did you do that? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Is it? Hello and welcome to Trope Jail, otherwise known as if you include this trope in your book, you deserve to be jailed. Pretty straightforward. Full disclosure, I am an expert. If you disagree with me and you weren't reading AO3 Supernatural fan fiction at 13, you don't have an enlightened opinion. You haven't been through war. You haven't been through the trenches. Okay, we're going to start off with a hot one. It says old man x young girl. And I'm not talking about this books where it's like she's 24, he's 29 and her brother's best friend. How will they ever get over this crazy maturity gap? Like, that's not what I mean. But that's fun. Those are fun. The emphasis here is on old. We're talking like salt and pepper, gray hair. X, I'm still in college. We're talking like immortal Faye that's been literally alive since the dawn of time, like thousands and thousands and thousands of years. X, young girl who maybe in modern society would have just graduated high school, but like she's an old soul. She sees him in a way that no one else does. This is the trope to me that is the most obvious. 
obvious jail. It's like, why would you write this? Why would you write this? Why do we still have content where it's like, let's make predation hot? What? What are we doing? Next up is perhaps a little bit more controversial. Barely requited love, AKA like she's obsessed with him and he's just like not that into her, but it's a romance novel, I guess. And crucially, this is very different from enemies to lovers or perhaps like the he's been in love with her the entire time type of slow burn that we sometimes see because he doesn't even feel enough emotion towards this woman to be her enemy. This trope only exists because girls just love to be treated like this in real life and want to pretend that they can just go through an entire 330 pages with a man and then end up with him at the end, even though like the best thing that he can say about her is that she has pretty eyes. And she's like, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Like he does not like you. That man literally has nothing to say to you. Accidental pregnancy. Pregnancy is like one of my top three fears in daily life. And whenever this trope is in a romance novel, it's always like, oh my God, what a miracle that this would happen. This is crazy. I'm so stressed out, but we're gonna have to find a way to make it work. And having a child always heals, like whatever is going on in that couple's relationship, whatever conflict is brewing, right? It's suddenly he's prepared for marriage or whatever. And that's just not how that works in real life. If you wanna make them have a kid in the epilogue, I don't care, fade to black, you know? Like the kid already exists, make them like seven or eight celebrating Christmas or something. That I can get behind. I'd like seeing my happy family at the end, but I don't want to see that as a plot point in the book, specifically not as a plot point that resolves conflict because ew, ew, literally ew, jail jail. The 90% miscommunication. So this is like when at the end of the book, when the main characters have finally gotten together or whatever, and they're having a great time, like suddenly there is just some random issue and it can be literally so small. The male main character buys her like a salad and it doesn't have the right cheese. And the entire conflict is literally just these people like not talking to each other. Like if they spoke a single word to each other, that was like actually what they were feeling. It would just not exist at all. This is always the most contrived BS that you will find in a romance novel. This can take like a book husband, like not a book boyfriend, a book husband, somebody that I have been invested in from page one. He is hot. He is smart, he is caring, he has some kind of trauma that he is resolving within himself with the help of the protagonist, and it can drag him down into like the seventh circle of hell. If he's insufferable enough at the 90% miscommunication, all of that goodwill is gone. I hate the book now, look at what you've done, make the conflict real. It's not hard, have a thought, be creative. Let me know if you want me to hate tomorrow. And on top of that, it's really draining. It's emotionally, physically, and spiritually exhausting. I have to go to rehab. So what I was- I don't think you need rehab. Kim, I blacked out and climbed into a trash bin. Eat a two week old unrefrigerated pie. Don't waste your time. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be.